Haas gave um, on his drawings a layout on the same part if you're using a NEMA 23 or NEMA 34. Um, so you'll notice when you do it on these far corners here, you'll have some holes close to the edges. And if you have looked at that, um, these are for the 34, NEMA 34 motor, which I'm using like the 906 ounce one or whatever it is, something in the 900 range. And then these four screws are to mount to those factory ones that are there. Now, the NEMA 23 will have holes here. I didn't prep for those because I'm not planning on using a NEMA 23 and uh, I don't need them. So that's that. But you can see that lines up nicely with those factory holes there. Uh, so it's right on the money again and uh, yeah so that's really nice and I actually haven't put this on the motor yet to check that but I'm sure that's right on the money too unless I messed up which I haven't been doing that much surprisingly um, the whole rest of this project's probably gonna fail now but let's make sure these guys line up good yeah so I was on the money there so was he um, so that works so these line up with that and these guys line up with the ones on there so you'll see they're reversed because these ones are going to be coming from the bottom going up into the standoffs and then that pig's gonna be like that so they need to be uh, flat so this guy can mount here so those are basically recessed or countersunk or whatever you want to call it um, and then these ones here are neatly um, counterboard or whatever that's called as well so the head of the screw should be um, below that so cool project this one was pretty fun got to do some more boring operations that's becoming a little more fun I figured out that the slowest setting on my Bridgeport, which is 160 RPMs, is where it likes to do that the best for diameters of this size. Could be the cheap boring bars that I use, because they probably flex more than most. 